A group of Collingswood High School students are facing potential bias crime charges after they allegedly organized a white student union in response to the school's black student union. That, according to the school superintendent, evolved into something more characteristic of a hate group. This isn't the first bias incident to be alleged in the small Camden County suburb. The town has been dealing with escalating racial tensions for years that have more recently come to a head. Matt Skoufalos has been covering it all as the founder and editor of NJ Penn, and he joins me with the latest. Matt, so good to have you on the show. Um, really disturbing uh, of what's been happening at the Collingswood High School. Can you give us an update on uh, how these students have been disciplined, what they did exactly? Sure. Um, I think to give you an update, I kind of have to go back to a year ago um, when there were student walkouts at Collinswood High School um, because uh, minority students were protesting what they described as biased treatment by their teachers, by the staff, administration, um, and what we've seen now is a year after that, we're actually marking uh, evidence of stuff that it's also coming from their peers in the school as well. So a year ago, there was this big student walkout um, where they were trying to draw attention to some of the cultural issues and race issues that are rearing their heads in high school. Um, from that, there was a community meeting where there was a lot of emotional testimonial delivered by people who've lived in town for a long time, talking about their experiences of this nature. Um, there were efforts made since then to form a community-wide DEI committee that's outside of the school that communicates on issues throughout the borough. Uh, there was a black student union formed at the high school. Uh, Collinswood held its first Juneteenth celebration as a community the following summer. And then now we wrap around back to where we are here uh, about a year later from, from the stuff that happened in 2023. And what we saw was right before spring break, there were a number of students who were given school discipline um, because they apparently have organized a white student union, um, which at some point, I guess, was meant to be an ironic response to the black student union. Um, and then Superintendent Fred McDowell told me they stopped being whatever you could call a joke, even if that is such a thing with matters like this. Uh, and just started functioning, in his words, as a, as a traditional kind of a hate group. Um, and so a couple days before spring break, there, was, um, there were slurs that were defaced on another student's car. That student is white. Kids I talked to believe that's a case of mistaken identity on whose vehicle it was. And aside from that, there were also incidents of bullying, harassment, racial intimidation, uh, that were made by white students against black students is what the allegations say. Are these students, Matt, facing uh, charges for any of this? So it's being investigated by the Canyon County, County Prosecutor's Office. It's being investigated by Collinswood Police. Uh, right now, the prosecutor's office has just said that it's an open investigation and they won't comment. They're still gathering information. Um, Superintendent McDowell says to me it is sort of this gray area where they're going to have to determine if they bring charges, if the defendants choose not to press charges. If the defendants were to choose to press, they could probably bring charges immediately. What's um, behind, that yeah, what's behind what seems like now um, many years of racial tension in Collingswood? Um, when you talk to people who are from that area, uh, they see it as a, as a pretty progressive place, and yet, we know through these students uh, and families' testimony, as you mentioned, that they've been facing incidents like these for years. I always tell everybody that Collingswood is a cipher, um, and it is what you want it to be for whatever group you happen to be, um, whether that is an ethnic group, a racial group, uh, a sexuality or gender orientation. Collingswood can be a proxy for whatever you want to put your dreams onto, and I think a lot of people do that. Um, and so what the school chalks this up to is gentrification in the neighborhood. Um, and if you go back over the census data for the past decade, you're seeing wealthier families moving into town. It's getting less white um, demographically. Um, but I think also you have to acknowledge that this stuff has been happening and people are not really needing it for whatever reason in whatever way that would have an impact. Um, going back to, I'm going to say 2011 or 2012, there was a story about a basketball coach named Joe McLaughlin who was removed of his coaching duties 
he sued the district and said it was because he wasn't playing enough white players, according to uh, what he claimed were his uh, administrative duties or his, his uh, instructions. And then from there, at that meeting, you had people coming up at that time saying, um, yeah, when I was a young kid riding my bike through this town, I would have rocks thrown at me because I was black. Um, there were other people at the meeting last year who talked about their children growing up in a town where they had never had any sort of gang involvement being told that their kids in elementary school were flashing gang signs. Um, there are black kids who say that the, there are white, a majority white, almost uniformly white staff um, that disciplines them differently than they discipline the white kids. Uh, you know, it's, you have to believe people when they're saying that these are their lived experiences. Um, and you also have to acknowledge if this is in your face every day, it's not getting better. Whatever the issues are, they're still persistent. Um, part of it, I imagine, has to do with whatever the culture is in the school. Part of it has to do with the climate from the homes. Uh, it could all be aggravated by the way that people interact post-pandemic. Sure. A lot of parasocial experiences, a lot of toxic internet culture carry over. Right. Um, but I did actually speak to two students last night, as a matter of fact, who talked about what they described as a, a casual attitude uh, around use of racial slurs by their white counterparts. Uh, and basically what they said is it seems like female students get the worst of it from white male students. Um, if they're called out on it, these students may shrink from the things that they were saying. They often don't do it around other male students or in groups where teachers might be within earshot, but um, it's an ongoing thing where these students describe this beginning even in elementary school. Wow. Very widespread. Matt Scoufalis is the editor and founder of NJ Penn, which covers Camden County. Matt, thank you so much. Thanks, Brianna.